So when I got to say Law and Order, one episode, then two episodes, then three episodes, I played three different characters. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So you, which was your favorite character? My favorite character was when I played an attorney who knew sign language, oh, so and I had a deaf a client. And so they didn't even call my agent. They went to the deaf agency and said, do you have any actors who know sign language? And they go, yeah, we got this girl who just graduated from NYU, and I got this amazing job as a lawyer, which I'm sure helped me get the practice, which I'm sure helped me get this job. Wait, so that's how you got in that's to how the I got Law in. and yeah. Order franchise? American you, sign language. I knew American Sign Language. I took a couple of uh, classes in high school to get into college. Right. You know, I'm terrible at languages, so I forgot everything I ever learned in sign language. I knew 10 signs, probably. Are you deaf? I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. Can you sign slower? That's all I remember. <laughs> those then, are good ones those to know. Those are good know ones to know. That, right. I went on to college. Uh, four years later, I'm about to graduate. I'm walking down the street, and I see a man get hit by a car. And I run to all the houses. I'm like, please call an ambulance. Please call the police. And they all came, and they surrounded this man. And they're looking at him going, sir, could you please tell us your name? And he was looking up, and he wasn't saying anything. They're like, sir, please tell us your name. We'd like to contact your family. And he didn't say anything. And then when someone's in shock, you'll notice that you know the, the services will like yell at you to get you out of shock. Right. They're like, sir, we've asked you three times. Right. We need your number. And across the street, I'm like, could he be deaf? And I walked over to the police officer and I oh. said, excuse me, maybe he's deaf. And they're like, do you know how to ask him? And I'm like, you know what, I do. And I was like, are you deaf? And he lifted his broken clavicle and signed, I yes. Oh my God. That yes, and I, they go, get his phone number. And I said, I can't get his phone number. Numbers are hard in sign language. I don't remember those. <laughs> right. And they're like, we need his number. You need to get it. So I, this was me for 20 minutes. I'm so sorry. Could you sign that number slower? It was awful. <laughs> and he was in pain, but I got a number. I gave it to the police officer. And they said, will you come with us to the hospital? And I'm like, I don't know sign language. That's it, that's what it. you I, saw. I, I, right. that's right. And he said, well, you know more than we do. Oh. And then I thought, oh my god, I've never been asked so nicely to get in the yes. back of a police car before. I think <laughs> I should get Have you been asked other times? I yes, guess so. I have. Well, asked my parents about it. <laughs> she's, been, so she's been gently encouraged. Tell us those stories. <laughs> so I went to the hospital and um, did you just keep signing over and over the same again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you sign Can that you sign? I'm sorry. But you know, the doctor comes out and says, Can you tell his family that he has a, a tear in the lower left quadrant of his right ventricle? And I said, No! I can't no, do that. I can't. <laughs> so that was born to Pictionary and all of my uh, running charades. I was just trying to that explain is it. An and incredible. To the family. 